is a devil. Don't ever trust a woman. Let me just tell you what my big beef with you is. Um, you're. I got the big beef for you right here, dear. You're so right. I don't believe the other people who don't believe in you. I truly believe in whatever you think. I'm not stressing about money, and I'm damn sure not going to let a bitch ruin my life. No way. You go, you start consuming alcohol, you let her talk. Talk, 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 talk. Talk, 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 talk. Let her go blah, 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 blah. We have a new policy, and it starts effective immediately. Because clearly, there's no other way to keep you people from throwing your food across the room. So now, we're going to whip you into shape. You know how we're going to do it? You watch. You watch how this problem begins to abate now. One curse word, and I'm hanging up on you. There will be no explanations. Nothing. One curse word, and you know what the curse words are. I don't have to let you watch. I don't have to lecture you. One curse word, and I am taking you off the air. Done. What I drive is nobody else's business. What you drive is nobody else's business. I had a lady at the gas station tell me, how can you afford to drive it with these gas prices? I looked at her and said, because I can. Right. And who knows? Maybe you're giving up other things. Cigarettes, Starbucks. No, I still got my cigarettes. still got my, you know, eight to ten beers a night. It's America. We watch football. We watch porn. We drive cars. We suck down gas. I don't know about that eight nine dollars an hour. I don't. That's low budget for me. I don't know about that. Yeah, you don't spread your legs for guys who make eight dollars an hour. Come on now, Tom. <laughs> okay. This lady in my office, after this, what I thought was a pretty minor earthquake, insisted on calling every human being that she has ever met and telling them that there was an earthquake. Well, I'm sitting five feet away, just wishing for a baseball bat to either hit her or her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at for the next at least five years of commitment of four thousand six hundred and eight. How long were you married? Ten years and four months. You're twenty nine. I'm twenty nine. You years got old. married at what age? I got I got 18? married when I was eighteen. Idiot! 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 To me, it just seems like you can't compare sex with breakfast. Sure, you can. I yeah, like, you I can. like having, you I like having, I like having it in the morning. Right. All right. There's no bad food. Okay. Bacon, eggs, cereal, oatmeal, right. bagels. It's all good. Breakfast burrito. I've had a few breakfast burritos in my time. I think you're my dad. Really. Really? Because did I f your mom? I learned, I learned so much from you that I've been getting laid so many times. Is your mom Mexican? Yes, she is. Yeah, you. I might be your dad. These women actually, I guess, they're young and dumb and haven't, you know. So. They're young, dumb, and full there of my go. inspiration. I told you, you know, if the, if the, you know, beach is acting up and she she gets pregnant, you go off the mountain and you kick it off. That's the way we do the the, the whole uh, hail mary in my country. We don't really. Do that, you guys. Yes, you guys do this this crap about uh, giving them McDonald's and this and that. You just kick them off the mountain, next person up. You know, they learn their lesson. It goes on the news. They go, okay, we're not going to mess with this guy anymore. So you think it's okay to objectify women? I don't. I'm not objectifying you. You were an object to begin with. I could not possibly objectify. By definition of the dictionary, you were an object before you ever met me. Okay. So it would be impossible, therefore, to objectify. The only person who could objectify would be an alchemist. An alchemist would be someone who could create gold out of thin air. An alchemist does not exist in reality, like a unicorn, okay? That's like a legend. So an alchemist, an alchemist could objectify because if you could take nothing and turn it into gold, you are then objectified. You're turning nothing into an object. You have therefore objectified. I cannot objectify something that is already an object. You, by definition, are an object, and you cannot be objectified, by definition. Okay, I guess, okay. You might buy a dictionary and start reading up. From the Playboy Mansion, it's Flash Friday. Happy birthday, Tom Likas, you rat bastard! <laughs> And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is. 
not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-866. Here we are at the Playboy Mansion, everybody, in Holmby Hills, Los Angeles. Thank you so much for tuning in on a perfect, perfect summer day here in Southern California. It's perfect. And what a day to be standing here on stage at the Playboy Mansion. Wow. Fantastic. Thank you so much for being part of the program. I am here right now with the lovely Lycats, everybody. The Lycats are here. Thank you, girls. The Lycats. Give them a hand, everybody. That's great. We love seeing the light cats, for God's sake. So here we are on this beautiful, sunny Friday. It's Flash Friday. And, uh, of course, here we are, standing uh, right alongside the pool at the Playboy Mansion. How great is that? How great is that? All right, well, you think about it, for God's sake. But uh, Flash Friday, headlights on across North America, headlights on. And ladies, if uh, if you see somebody with the headlights on, you know what to do. Show them your cans. That's right. Show them. We flash you, you flash us. If you see us with the headlights on, show us your rack. Press them against the glass, fling them out the window, pop them out the sunroof, hang them off the back of the flatbed. If you see a nice pair of cans out there, call us and give us a full report. 1-800-5800-TOM. Headlights have been on all day today. All day. They get started early. 1-800-5800-866 is our telephone number. And uh, here we are on this beautiful Flash Friday at the Playboy Mansion. By the way, girls, if you've got a nice pair of cans and you've got no one to show them to, Maybe you are on a freeway that doesn't have any headlights. Maybe, uh, for God's sake, maybe you're just out there uh, painting your house like that woman we had was painting her house. Took her top off. Gave people her home address. People were driving by in a residential neighborhood. Wherever you are, ladies, call us and let us know. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. Wide open telephones on the Tom Likas show for the Playboy Mansion on this Flash Friday. Anything goes, anything at all. We can talk about anything that's on your mind. It can be anything we discussed on the air this week, anything you think we should have talked about. You can call up, yell, scream, complain, jump up and down. It's all fair game as long as you're absolutely fascinated. If you're not, we kick your ass the hell off the telephone. It's that simple. Dean J. D'Amelio is on the case. He's got his 34-ounce Louisville Slugger cocked. Cocked, I said. That's right. His bat is cocked, and he's ready to swing. And he's done it before. The man's got a criminal record, for God's sake. No doubt about it. All you need to do is call us here at our handy-dandy telephone number. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. You can dial in right now. We will get you on the air as quickly as possible. We had quite a week this week. We talked about A-Rod's divorce. The fact that the New York Daily News says he's playing hardball. Why? Because he wants the prenuptial agreement enforced as written. Ooh, what a meanie. He had a contract and he wants it to be enforced. That's so mean. So we talked about that. And uh, we got a lot of other things on the table this week. We're very busy boys over here at the radio factory, churning it out. So uh, whatever it is on your mind, you call us here at 1-800-5800-TOM, 1-800-5800-866. And by the way, if you're listening to us in another country, coming to you from the Playboy Mansion, in the beautiful Holmby Hills section of California, uh, you can uh, ring us on this special phone number if you're from out of the country. The country code is 1, the area code is 323, and the phone number is 520-6211. That's 1-323-520-6211. That's all you have to do. 
It's Flash Friday here on the Tom Likas Show. Let's start this hour off with Manolo on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Manolo. Hey, Father. How you doing, son? Oh, I'm good. Not as good as you. You're at the Playboy Mansion. And you bet I'm at the Playboy Mansion, for God's sake. <laughs> well, I'm doing like five on the 57. Really? Yes. So so any females out there, I'm the battery guy in a battery truck. All right. Are you seeing headlights on out there, Manolo? Uh, it's kind of weak today, Tom. I don't like that. Headlights <laughs> on, boys. You never know when you're going to get flashed. Right on, right on. Well, I just wanted to talk to you about that Manny Ram trade. The Manny Ram trade. What do you want to say about Manny Ramirez? Die hard Dodger fan, Tom. You know what? I'm loving it. I am loving it. One thing I don't like, though, Tom, are all these ESPN commentators talking about how much drama he's going to bring to L.A. The only thing he's going to bring to L.A. is a hot bat. And more games possibly being sold out at the stadium. Well, yes, but he's, uh, and by the way, I'm a Dodger fan too, but let's be realistic about how good or bad the Dodgers are. The Dodgers are in second place in the worst division in baseball. True. And so chances are, with Manny Ramirez, they will win the division. That will put them ahead of the Arizona Diamondbacks. But they are not going to the World Series. They're not. There's too many other no, teams that are way that better yet. than the Dodgers. And, and Manny Ram's not going to turn around overnight. And, and by the way, uh, he'll be gone by next year more than likely because uh, he only has a contract at the end of this year. No options, he, nothing. Yeah, that's true. We're ready him for now. So yeah. enjoy enjoy, him, enjoy two months of Manny Ramirez plus one week yeah, of playoffs. Like to take the next three away from Arizona. They got one on us last night. Well, yeah, but uh, Manny hasn't played yet, and uh, Manny is playing tonight, I understand. That is true, Tom. And truth out of this, I'm on my way to the game tonight, so I'm actually kind of stoked. Uh, well, I understand. And again, I, I think what's going to happen, yeah, there'll be some excitement. And uh, hopefully he'll take a leak during the game. There's, there's no place to go do that like there is at Fenway Park. Uh, he whip out his cell phone, make a phone call while the game is in progress, and some of the other stuff he does. I mean, we don't mind that here. We think that's fun, and he'll be fun to, to have, you know. But uh, let's not uh, kid ourselves about the Dodgers. The Dodgers have five outfielders, one of whom makes $18 million a year and is sitting on the bench. Yeah, well, our buddy Andrew Jones is completely pissing off people in L.A. Well, you know, a number of us have been watching baseball for a while. You can see this guy was just uh, getting fat and lazy. The Atlanta Braves don't let good players go that easily. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if the Atlanta Braves didn't want to keep him around, they probably know something you don't. True. So why the Dodgers paid him all that money is beyond me. Yeah. All right. Uh, Especially for what he's doing. I mean, he's horrible. He's not even batting a one uh, of 150. He's like below. Right. Then Rafael for call. Here's another play, okay? They play in him uh, $15 million a year. He's been hurt I don't know how many times. And the latest thing I heard that he said, Rafael Fercal, the shortstop for the Dodgers and the linchpin in the lineup for part of the season, he said he's in no rush to get back. And the reason is because it's it's the uh, uh, contract year for him. He's a free agent at the end of the year, and he doesn't want to re-injure himself and ruin his value on the free agent market. Yeah, well, there again, you got another uh, money-hungry player out there. Well, wait a minute. Th these guys are in the business to make money. That's what they're in the business yeah. to do. Let's not forget Manny Ramirez makes twenty million dollars a year. But you got to admit it was a good trade. We didn't we didn't pay nothing for him. There's no we doubt that, that, that there's no doubt there's trade. no doubt there's no doubt that uh, they they're not paying his salary even. They gave up a stiff Andy LaRoche and uh, some other guy nobody ever heard of. Uh, so they don't have to pay him any salary. And yep. the division is so bad, really, a good bat is all the Dodgers need to win the division. But yeah. but but the, it masks the real problem, and that is that the Dodgers stink. Okay? Well, you know what, Tom? It does hurt seeing them. It does hurt seeing them flirting with 500 for the past couple months. But you know what? Still a diehard true blue fan. I'm gonna go tonight. I'm gonna drink a couple beers for you, a couple shots for you. Well, you know, and, I, I, and uh, by the way, I I I love going to Dodger Stadium as much as you do. Yeah, love it. Great. But I think I think we in LA deserve a better team. 
And you got to admit, the uh, the best team in Southern California plays down the five freeway. Yeah. Hey, Tom, there's one thing I got to know, man. What's that? How are those bunnies looking? Well, everybody is kind of uh, moving around here. So right now, yeah. uh, everybody has just got uh, in motion. So uh, I don't see anybody in the pool at this point, but uh, you know these things change. It's a fluid situation. Uh, maybe Gary is out there roaming around somewhere. What's going on out Tom, there? Tom, you know, the way I like to describe this is the uh, calm before the storm. Uh, we generally experience this uh, every time we're here. It, it starts out a little apprehensive. People are getting a little booze in them, um, and they still have their clothes on, although they're 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 barely clothed. Yes. Um, but uh, you just wait. We'll get a little booze in everybody, and uh, the, the pool is looking awesome today. I oh, mean, yeah. It's really, uh, for some reason, looks better than it ever has before. The uh, tent is normally up in Hef's backyard, but it's not today, so it's all wide open. You can see right over to the zoo over there. There's a bunch half a uh, half naked broads over there uh, checking out animals. That's always oh nice. really yeah. Uh, the trampoline is up and running today. If anybody um, wants oh. to get a couple boozes in them and do that, that very nice. That ought to be interesting. Um, but uh, yeah, it'll take no time at all before there's some uh, uh, naked chicks and yeah. In the, well, the, pool. the booze has to kick in. Uh, did, the booze is key. I did want to mention, Tom, that uh, coming up in just about 10 minutes or so, um, we're going to revisit, uh, you know, it's been 11 years now since we started Flash Friday. We're going to revisit some of the original racks that were part of uh, the Flash oh. Friday phenomenon when we first started. Hot Tub Amy is here. We've got uh, uh, Stacy Burke. We've got Mary with an eye. It's like it's this amazing collection. The golden age of the Flash Friday. Golden Reddit. age. Of, and by the way, they're still holding up. Oh yeah. Those double and triple Ds, whatever we got, they're still holding up. Sounds good to yeah, me. No, it's, it's it's absolutely phenomenal, and there's a bunch of uh, other great stuff coming. I'm gonna go get myself an Asahi over at the bar there and see what happens. Sounds good to me. Okay. Thank you, Gary. That's our producer, Gary Zabransky. And here we are at the Playboy Mansion on this Flash Friday. You your telephone calls coming up as we continue. Tom Lankis. 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 800 866. Just wanted to let you know, cruising down the one on three left, coming home from work, driving next to a black BMW. Two girls took their cans. What'd they look like? Two blonde girls, glasses. One had a it looked like a lip ring, and uh, they're wearing bikini tops. And I got the windows down, but I'm show like I always do, Dad. And sure enough, first time. Son, I love that. <laughs> it's Flash Friday on the Tom Likey Show. <laughs> From the Playboy Mansion in Holmby Hills, Los Angeles. 1 800 5 800 Tom is our telephone number. It's Sandy on the Tom Like Your Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Sandy. How are you? Great. Great. I'm calling because I would like your advice on something. I am 28 years old. My boyfriend is 31. And for the longest time, I have been trying to convince him to engage in a three-way with my girlfriend and I, and he will not go for it. Why not? Um, he just got into a born-again Christianity religion, and he says that three ways are not the way God intended uh, sexual relationships to be. Well, did you tell him God doesn't intend fornication either? He knows that. Fornication's fine. Three ways or not, though. Well, you know, religion's a very personal thing. There's not much you can do about it. So your options are very few. As you always hear me say in this program, you cannot change other people. Right. So your choices are live with it or leave it. That's true. Which do you want to do? I think eventually I'm going to have to look somewhere else. Why wait? That's true. I guess just fantasy, fantasy of mine would be for the three-way, my first three-way to be with him. But he doesn't want a three-way. He says he's a born-again Christian. <laughs> Why are you laughing? 
I don't know. I mean, I just, I'm getting so frustrated with this. Darling, there's no frustration. I'm making it simple for you. Why are you making this complicated? You. Because I want it to be with him. You can't have what you want. You can't. You're not getting it. So forget it. Yeah, I guess I just have to look elsewhere. That's right. You can't have everything your way. He is not going to change. He is who he is. That's true. I mean, what makes you think you're going to change him? Hmm. I just thought any guy would go for a three-way. Well, some people are religious, and religious people don't believe in having three ways. That's true. So now you have to decide, do you want to be with him or not? True. Thank you so much, Tom. Stop trying to change him, please. I will. Okay. Can you please take me out with an African chant? Yes, I can. Here you go. Baninge, 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 so penza. Baninge, 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 so penza. Kodale nenge asika mama. Boya kodale nenge asika mama. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Patrice on the Tom Like Your Show. Hello, Patrice. Uh-huh. Yes. Hello. Hello, it's me. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. <laughs> so cool. Okay, I have like a super question for you. Oh. Oh, it's like commercials on right now because I probably had a. Oh wait a minute, we're hearing Elvis on the air. On the air. Yeah, the caller <laughs> is hearing Elvis. Uh, yes, go ahead, Patrice. Hi. Okay, I had a question. I'm waiting for it. It's been 34 seconds. I've been hey, waiting like for this question. Last, when do you plan to ask? Since I was like 13 years old when I started having sex. You were how old? Wait, 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 wait. You were 13? Yeah. Okay. I mean, that was my first like actual sexual like with a guy experience. Right. Like I started playing when I was like five. But five? <laughs> yeah, I had a next door neighbor. He was my age. We were curious. I see. We house, you know. Okay. So what is your question, Patrice? Now it's been a minute and a half. Well, I was trying to figure out what it is about me that makes me always, what do you call it? That makes you what? I'm like always on the what do you call it. I'm never the girlfriend. I'm always the one that you call when you want to have like good sex. Well, uh, most guys don't want to have a serious relationship with a slut. Is that what it is? Yeah. I'm not a slut, though. I'm just a, I'm a committed nympho. A committed nympho is a slut. <laughs> You're when a I'm slut. A huh? <laughs> By the way, when dear. I'm a nympho because, like, I only have sex with one guy. I just, we do it a lot. By the way, darling, uh, I hate to have to ask you this question. How tall are you? I'm 5'2". How much do you weigh? 180. That's another reason you're a booty call, dear. She's a piggy really? piggy. Really? Of course. Aw. But it's not always in the middle of the night, though. It's what? It's not always in the middle of the night. Sometimes it's like 12 o'clock in the afternoon. But it's still booty call, right? Yeah, because they know that's what I want. But I want more than that. But But you're 180 pounds, dear. Yeah. And I can take you. <laughs> ah, darling, I love you to death, but... If you're 180 pounds, you're booty call material. Uh, it's just addicted to my booty, and that's it. Like, that's not out there. And, and not only booty call material, but the kind of booty call who will never meet his friends or family or be seen that's in the light of day. They bring me around all of those people, but they are. So, they bring their, so, when they're gonna, so when they're having sex with you, they bring their family with them? Yeah. That's fascinating. Like, uh, it's weird. Like, I I'm, I'm know everybody. I'm a cool female. Like, they want me as a friend, but they know that I always want sex at the end of the night. Like, I don't care. So you're a friend with benefits. Basically. That, now, basically, it sounds like that's what you are. That, yeah, that's what it is. Right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. But why do I... Just because I'm so based on that. 
Darling, yeah, if you want to be girlfriend material for anybody that you would want to actually have as a boyfriend, you're about 60 pounds away from that. Okay, so I need to hit the dooms then or something? I think you need to hit the treadmill. All right. I think I, Now, if you need the Thomas guy to find the treadmill, I can set that up for you. <laughs> No, I actually work near the beach, so I just go in on the sand. I'll it's make it that, fun. It's that thing with all the clothes hanging on it? <laughs> it's the membership that I forget to pay, right? The membership you forget to pay. That's right. Aw. <laughs> 60 pounds, though. Once I get down to 140, wait, what's that? No, 140? 140? Wow. So you're 200 pounds, are you? No. <laughs> 180. Oh, you can't do math. I'm driving and talking. Can you chew gum at the same time? Sometimes. Oh, my. <laughs> and, you know, it really made it worse when I started working at, like, a naughty store. Like, I don't know what it was, but freaking all of a sudden, like, my friend, he just got kind of crazy. He wanted me to buy toys, like, every time I got hit. Really? All right, darling. Well, I, you, you are booty call material. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. I, I'm just adventurous, and it's like, I don't know, there's no commitment in adventure. I mean, Donna, you have to stop having adventures at the Cinnabon store, okay? <laughs> Your adventures cannot right. be at Domino's Pizza. No more Cheesecake Factory. No more Cheesecake Factory, no more Grand Lux Cafe. Oh. I'm sorry, I love that. No, no more Pizza Hut. Okay. I can commit to this. If you want I'm to be, I'm gonna call you in like three months, and I'm gonna send you a picture. All right, Just I'll to be. Show you the before and after. I'll be waiting. All right, Tom. Thanks for the advice, because I was wondering if that's all that it was, but it, it really is. Hang on a second, Patrice. Jay, what did you want to say to Patrice here? Is she five two, and she weighs 180 pounds? She should feel lucky that she's getting a booty call. Ah, that's not true. Oh, I absolutely. have plenty of people that I can call. You need to lose 80 pounds? You need to lose yeah. 80 pounds. Yeah. Hello? Uh, yeah, I'm actually, I'm 5'2 and 180. I mean, I have a 38D. I have very big butt. It's like I wear a 42. Like, it, darling, it's not all darling, in my waist. It's darling. just my... Unless, unless you've got 75 pounds of breast there, trust me, you're fat. <laughs> it's just, it's got to be said. At least 50. 50 <laughs> pounds like of boobs. Come on, you do not have 50 pounds of boobs. I feel like it. Uh, no, no, dear. No, darling. On a good day, I can get into a double D. Dear, you would have to have two breasts that weigh the equivalent of eight bowling balls. All right. Okay, fine. I'm over exaggerating. But still, they're big. They're more than a handful for me. Don't I, I mean, when you're fat, you get big boobs. Are you kidding me? Guys get big I boobs mean, when they get fat. <laughs> That's what you happens. Make a good point. Come on. Did you have but big... I had boobs before I had anything else, though. I started growing boobs when I was seven. You what? I started growing boobs at seven. Really? <laughs> yeah. Is that so? I developed really early in life. Like, oh, but you everything did. said boom. I was in like a woman's three when I was in fourth grade. Really? I had a woman's body in fourth grade. Is that so? I'm not joking. So you found a way That's to stay on the air, didn't you? What? I, I mean, I think I kind of missed my, my, my uh, peak. You know what I mean? Like, I peaked when I was a child. <laughs> and, and you've been downhill ever since? Yeah. <laughs> Your hottest days are when you were 11. <laughs> oh, my God. You had your first stretch mark at 10. Aww. I can't remember when, but my brother did ask me that uh, Freddy Krueger attack you last night. <laughs> <laughs> and where did your brother see in your stretch marks? <laughs> they were on the back of my calves, actually. I used to play sports. On the back? Oh, is that why? Because you used to play mm -hmm. sports. That's why you had on the back of your calves. Maybe you just had fat calves. Oh, okay. Well, 
I mean, I appreciate the advice, so I'm like, I'll do everything I can to lose all of this weight, and I'm going to come back looking better than ever. All right, we'll be waiting. All right, what's your email address I'm going to hang by my thumbs, huh? What's your email address again? Tom at blowmeuptom.com. All right, Tom, at blowmeuptom.com. Hang on a second. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, Eddie, okay. Eddie, what did you want to say to Patrice here? Oh, I wanted to say, I, I want to say she must look like a flat marshmallow. Oh, no, I'm not stupid around. Maybe you got the thighs of a Grand Canyon. Oh. <laughs> you got, you probably got cankles that hit the ground when you walk. Cankles. There we go. Oh, God. Who would ever Oh, I, be, I better brush me her knees. <laughs> oh, no, no, I haven't gotten that old yet. I'm only 26. And I haven't you're, had any you, kids. You've got to so lose weight big time because I don't think you're going to get anything else. I mean, <laughs> you, you, I don't, I'm surprised you're a booty car. I thought you might have been like some, like a, a big waitress at a restaurant or something. Oh, no, I got better jobs than that, sweetie. You know oh when you're big, you must have, have a good job. That's something I've got to learn from Tom. As a big girl, I know that I have to be able to support myself. I can't rely on guys. So I have a good job. When you walk, do you, do you hear, like, like burning noises coming wait from a minute, Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Mary, Mary with an eye is here, and she has something to say. Patrice said... Uh, now, now you ask for it now. Mary, what do you want to say to Patrice? You got you a mic right there. Oh, yeah, mine is on. <laughs> Patrice, you have to work, sweetie. You don't have a choice. That's I don't what I'm saying. I know yeah. I have to work. I you have to. I, that big, I mean, I got a big ass, but God, Lord. When you got a big I ass and stomach to match, and you have to work. You don't have to work. It's the difference between a nice ass and a big ass. <laughs> I mean, you know. Right? That's right. So you have to work. And Mary has a nice ass, as everybody here will attest. For God's sake. Well, you know it's Flash Friday, so I hope you're hooking everybody up with the boobs, too. You know what I'm saying? Because I am. Please yeah. Please. You just got to, you know. Even if they don't want to see it. They have a special at 24-Hour Fitness, I heard. <laughs> you know. Yeah, but you got to pay the so bill. Since you work, you can. Yeah, she works. So she can, like, pay that 35 bucks a month or whatever it but is. But you got to pay the bill. All you yeah. do is buy a pair of running shoes that pay less and go for a walk. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Walk it out. Walk it out. <laughs> 20 bucks. No, I think I'm like the pilot to run it out, though. It's cool. she's, she's walking it out. She's walking it out it right down to El Pollo Loco. That's where she's walking it out. She got, pop- she got Popeyes on speed dial over there. Oh, my God. But it's cool, though, freaking. I'm a big girl with an over-exaggerated freaking sex appetite. Not fine, freaking. I'll just become a, you know, smaller girl with a big sex appetite. That's right. That's fine. Uh, well, uh, and, you know, that that's the, you should have a smaller every kind of appetite, I think. No, I don't think the sex will ever die, though, Tom. Right. I'm kind of addicted. It's not even my fault. All right. Well, thank you, darling. Can you take me out with a screaming orgasm? And whose fault is it? Uh, I can do it with a sound effect. Here you go. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Yes. 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 That's about as far as I'd want to take it. Oh, my. Well, I'm standing here with four of the pioneers. A Flash Friday. And we will talk to all of them as we continue on Flash Friday for the Playboy Mansion. It's the Summer Splash. Stay right there. Tom like it. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. Get in, get off, get out. That's my motto, man. Don't be stuck with one girl too long because enough of a headache and problem. It's the Tom Like It Show. Last Friday, Kevin here from the Playboy Mansion. one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. I am standing here with four of the pioneers of Last Friday. Yeah! Hell yeah! And they still got a set of lungs on them, too. Look at that. Is that what you call those lungs? Set of lungs. <laughs> They're in there somewhere, Gary. Oh. <laughs> we are, uh, we've been doing Flash Friday since 1998, so it's been 
10 years, the 11th summer of Flash Friday. That is so hot. And, and it is hot. That's hot. And this is like, you know what's, you know what's interesting? This is kind of like when they had the all century team in baseball. Right, exactly. Ted Williams walked in from center field. Yeah, this is Hall of Fame material this right This is here. all Hall of Fame Ooh, material. Yeah, baby. I love Holy that. Holy crap. And it's like, and, and, and they're not old, like decrepit old men. They're like, it's still, you That's know. That's right. Hot I don't need broads. a walker. It, it's not like when they drove George Steinbrenner into the golf cart or whatever. Right, I mean, exactly. Hey, they walked here on their own power. It's fantastic. Look, look, look at that. No panties and no the, pins. The original oh, racks. Yeah. Look at Old this. Old school's yeah. in the house, y'all. Now, we have with us here, from, going back to the first year of Flash Friday, yes. we have on stage, we have the, the original Nicole. Right, that's correct. And, yeah. and Hot Tub Amy. Hot Tub Amy, who really started the whole damn thing. And we have StacyBurke.com yes. of the dot com yeah, family. I love you a long time. And we have with us, of course, Mary with an eye. Yeah. All here on stage. Now, girls, I want to ask you this because, you know, it's been 10 years since we started doing Flash Ready. Does anybody recognize you from having done some of the things you've done on oh, the air? Oh, my God. Really? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. That, Try going yes. to Target with your niece. And somebody asking you to flash them. <laughs> I think Hot Tub has had to deal with that for years, man. She's been yeah. trying to keep it on the down low, but oh, uh, you know she made a name for herself there. Yeah. yeah. I work with a bunch of engineers now, Tom, and sometimes um, I, yeah, it's an awkward conversation. But, uh, well, how do they figure out that you're a Hot Tub baby? Did they see you back in the day or what? That and I think I have a distinctive voice. Okay, yes. And laugh had, for us, Amy. Laugh for us. Come laugh, on. Laugh, laugh, laugh. You had done commercials. <laughs> yes, I actually went on a blind date. Well, it wasn't really blind, but I went on a date the other night, and um, the guy that I was with somehow it came into conversation that I used to be a part of your show. And once he realized who I was, he told me how much my commercials used to annoy him and <laughs> how much he hated my commercials because he heard them all the time. But uh, it was pretty funny because he definitely knew who I was but didn't put it together until we were out. Oh, my. What about you, Nicole? Well, they used to, like, they, if we saw us together, then they know exactly who we were. But if it was one of us, they'd look at us like, is that or isn't it? And they'd see us together. Oh, I know who you are. I saw you at a party. You were on a Like a Show. <laughs> <laughs> and StacyBurke.com. Oh, yes. Come on now. Hello, my peeps. Whose they web all... traffic spikes every time she comes on I the think show. She actually... I love it. That's my new name, yeah. right? That's my new name. Well, I screw, did screw Al Gore. I think she name. actually found, she invented the internet. Oh, I am yes, going to be the, 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 the new mayor of Belmont Shore because my new husband. Yes. Who, we should talk about this. going to be the mayor of Belmont Shore, so I am going to be the queen of Horny Corner in yes. so many ways. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, I won't say the opening line because last time you tried to get the mic away from me when I said the opening line, what he said to me. But the, o the opening line? The opening, oh, the line. opening line. I will bleep it so you don't have to worry. His line to me was, you know, you're about a six or a seven for Belmont Shore. <gasps> But you'll be say that. that. You can't say penis. No, well, no, no, no don't repeat it. <laughs> okay, stop. No. Okay, you're. Wait, wait. Yes, you're no, a member. What is you're exactly? Okay. I can't say. Yes, we're okay with that. That's just fine. I thought fun. that was biological. So what I'm we sorry. learned from this is that uh, Stacey Burke is actually married. Yeah. Married. How did that happen? This, this is the lucky it. man right here. It'll and be on the girls next door. You'll see it. Really? Yeah, awesome. it'll be on. It's a big Vegas thing. We got married by the gold suit Elvis. So, so wait a minute. So, dot com now is your maiden name? <laughs> <laughs> and no, it's not hyphenated either. <laughs> wow. That's good. Eh? And uh, Mary with an I is engaged to be married. Yes, I oh. am. This is, they're really? not, they're not listening. Know. And These guys are not are, 101 guys, dude. Yep, because we learn from the best. Yeah. Our big daddy. Yes. She's not hyphenated, and I'm signing a prenup. Wow. Yeah, we learn. 101. 101, Girls baby. can learn from it, too. Give it yep. up. Give it up for the Hall of Famers of Flash Friday, everybody, on the Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show.